हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज चैप्टर नाइन ऑफ लेवल वन फोटो सिंथेसिस क्लोरोप्लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम लाइट एंड डार्क रिएक्शन कवर इन दिस टॉपिक दिस इज माई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल इफ यू लाइक दीज लेक्चर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड शेयर टू अदर्स प्लांट्स आर द प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी और द प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर्स इन द एकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड दे मेक फूड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस। विदाउट प्लांट्स नन ऑफ द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द एटमोस्फेयर कुड बी हार्वेस्टेड फॉर आवर यूज इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस, द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस, लाइट रिएक्शन एंड डार्क रिएक्शन कैलविन साइकिल सी टू साइकिल सी फोर साइकिल सी एम साइकिल C3 थ्री साइकिल एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम वॉट इज फोटोसिंथेसिस फोटोसिंथेसिस इज अ फिजिको केमिकल प्रोसेस बाई विच ग्रीन प्लांट यूज लाइट एनर्जी टू परफॉर्म द सिंथेसिस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इट इज एन एंजाइम रेगुलेटेड एनाबोलिक प्रोसेस इट इज द बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ ऑन अर्थ बिकॉज इट इज द प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ ऑल फूड ऑन अर्थ and it is responsible for the release of oxygen in the atmosphere chlorophyll light and carbon dioxide are required for photosynthesis it can occur only in the green part of leaves and the presence of light the chemical equation for photosynthesis is as follows co2 plus water giving rise to glucose plus o2 so photosynthetic pigments principal pigments and accessory pigments principal pigments are of two types chlorophyll a chlorophyll b c and d and accessory pigments these are of two types carotenoids and phycobilins this is the flow chart of photosynthetic pigments structure of chloroplast chloroplast are green plastids that are present as the site of photosynthesis in eukaryotic photoautotrophs inside the leaves the chloroplast is generally present in mesophyll cells along their walls within the chloroplast there is a membranous system consisting of the stroma lamellae grana and fluid stroma the membrane system is responsible for synthesizing light energy for the formation of atp and nadph in stroma enzymatic reactions take place in plants leading to the synthesis of sugar this is the structure of stomata outer membrane inner membrane stroma lamellae grana stroma ribosomes stars granules and lipid droplets the reaction in which light energy is absorbed by grana to synthesis ATP and NADPH is termed light reaction the later part of photosynthesis in which is reduced to sugar light is not necessary is termed dark reaction light reaction includes the following components light absorption splitting of water oxygen molecule release high energy chemical intermediates ATP and NADPH the pigments are organized into two discrete lsc plus within photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 lsc is made up of hundreds of pigments molecules containing all pigments except single chlorophyll molecule in each ps means photosystem the pigments in photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 absorb the lights of a different wavelengths single chlorophyll molecule makes the reaction center in ps1 the reaction center has the highest peak at 700 nm hence called p700 and the ps2 reaction center has the highest peak at 680 nm so called p680 this is the light reaction flow chart primary receptor photon reaction center and pigment molecules 
difference between cyclic phosphorylation and non cyclic phosphorylation in cyclic it is performed by photosystem 1 independently non cyclic it is performed by a collaboration of both ps1 and ps2 cyclic an external source of the electron is not required in non cyclic the process requires an external electron donor in cyclic it synthesizes the only atp in non cyclic it synthesizes atp and nadh both cyclic it occurs only in stromal or integrinal thylakoids in non cyclic it occurs in the granal thylakoids only this is ets electron transport system photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 this is the scheme of light reaction this reaction center of the photosystem 2 absorb light of 680 nm in the red region and causing the electron to become excited these electron are picked by an electron acceptor which passes to an electron transport system consisting of cytochromes electrons are passed down the electron transport chain and then to the pigment of ps1 electron in the ps1 also get excited due to light of wavelength 700 nm and are transferred to another acceptor molecule having a greater redox potential when an electron passes in a downhill reaction direction energy is released this is used to reduce the adp to atp and ADT, nadp to nadph this whole scheme of electron transfer of electrons is called z scheme due to its shape of electron transfer photolysis of water releases electrons that provide electrons to ps2 and oxygen is also released during this process chemoosmotic hypothesis the chemoosmotic hypothesis was proposed by michael in 1961 atp synthesis is linked to the development of proton gradient across the membrane of thylakoid and mitochondria the process that causes the development of proton gradient across the membrane is described in the following points the splitting of water molecules occurs inside the thylakoid to produce hydrogen ions or protons as the electron passes through the photosystems protons are transported across the membrane because the primary acceptor of the electron is located towards the outer side of the membrane the nadp reductase enzyme is located in the stroma site of the membrane electrons come out from the acceptor of electrons of ps1 protons are necessary for the reduction of nad plus to nadp plus h plus these protons are also removed from the stroma this creates a proton gradient across the thylakoids membrane along with ph in the lumen the gradient is broken down due to the movement of a proton across the membrane to the stroma through the transmembrane channel of fo of atps one part of this enzyme is embedded in the membrane to form a transmembrane channel the other portion is called f1 that protrudes on the outer surface of the thylakoid membrane which makes the energy packed atp ATP and NADPH produced due to the movement of the electron are used immediately to fix CO2 to form sugar. The product of the light reaction used to drive the process leading to the synthesis of sugar is called the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis. This is the chart flow of chemoosmotic hypothesis ADP to ATP formation. Next is dark reaction. This process occurs in the absence of light in the stroma of the chloroplast. The following cycles are involved in the process. The oxidative photosynthetic carbon cycle 
for C2 cycle is the metabolic pathway responsible for photosynthetic oxygen uptake and the light dependent production of carbon dioxide that is termed photorespiration. The presence of light and the higher concentration of oxygen results in the binding of the Rubisco enzyme with oxygen to form. This is the flow chart of C2 cycle. On the left side, you can see photorespiration. Rubisco enzyme is working. Next is Kelvin cycle. C3 cycle or Kelvin cycle. This cycle involves the following steps carbon fixation, ribulose 1 5 biphosphate combines with carbon dioxide to fix it to a 3 carbon compound. 3 phosphoglyceric acid. The enzyme Rubisco is involved in the process. Reduction to 2 molecules of ATP and NADPH fixes 1 molecule of carbon dioxide to form glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Regeneration Some glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate molecule undergo a series of reactions to form glucose while the RUBP regenerates. To continue the cycle, this is the flow chart of C3 cycle. Rubisco enzyme is working like this phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. C4 cycle or Hess Slack pathway. This pathway was discovered by Hatch and Slack in 1965 and 1967, mainly operational in plant growing in the dry tropical regions like maize, sugarcane, sorghum, etc. In this pathway, first the stable product is a 4 carbon compound, oxaloacetic acid, so called a C4 pathway. Plants have Crane's anatomy, vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheet cells arranged in a wreath like manner. Characterized by large number of chloroplast, thick wall, impervious to gases and absence of intercellular species. The primary CO2 acceptor is a 3 carbon molecule phosphenol pyruvate present in mesophyll cells and the enzyme involved is PEP carboxylase. So OAA formed in mesophyll cells forms 4 carbon compound like malic acid or aspartic acid which is transported to bundle sheet cells. In a bundle sheet cell it is broken into CO2 and a 3 carbon molecule. The 3 carbon molecule is returned back to mesophyll cells to form PEP. The CO2 molecule released in bundle sheet cells enter the Kelvin cycle where enzyme Rubisco is present that forms sugar. This is the flow chart. CAM cycle. CAM short form of Crassulacean acid metabolism is a method of carbon fixation evolved by some plants in dry circumstances in order to meet their need to combine the sun's energy with CO2 from the air. CAM plants take in CO2 at night and store it in the form of a 4 carbon acid called malate. Then the malate is released during the day where it can be combined with the ATP and NADPH created by the sun's energy. Steps of chem cycle. In the cytoplasm of those cells, the CO2 molecules encounter hydroxyl ions OH which they combine with to become SCO3 the enzyme phosphenol pyruvate carboxylase PEP carboxylase the PEP carboxylase enzyme catalyzes the following reactions to add CO2 to a molecule called phosphenol pyruvate PEP oxaloacetate then receives an electron from NADH and becomes a molecule of malate this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase that reaction looks like this malate is now stored in vacuoles within the plant cells until the sun rises 
and photosynthesis begins. When that happens, malate enters the Kelvin cycle just like 3 phosphoglycerate would in a plant using a 3 carbon or C3 pathway for carbon fixation. This is the main difference between C3 and C4 plants. In C3, the leaves do not have Crane's anatomy. In C4, the leaves show Crane's anatomy in leaves. Number two, photorespiration occurs in C3 plant and photorespiration does not occur in C4 plants. Number three, plants are adapted to all climate. In C4, plants are adapted to tropical climates. Point number four, mesophyll cells perform complete photosynthesis. In C4, mesophyll cells perform only initial fixation. Point number 5, Rubisco is the first to accept CO2 in C4. PEP is the first acceptor of CO2. Last point, PGA is the first stable product in C3 plants. But in C4, OAA is the first stable product. These are the questions arises from this chapter. What is photosynthesis? What is chem cycle? What is chloroplast? Who gave the chemo osmotic hypothesis? What is photorespiration? And what are the products of photosynthesis? So we will meet tomorrow again. Again, this is my request to you. If you like this chapter in this PPT form, please subscribe this channel and share it to others. Thank you very much.